Hey newbies, welcome back to The Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. Today we're going to talk about part one and how to install your package of bees. So you've probably already hopefully ordered or you're thinking about ordering a three pound package of bees. This video and the next are going to cover how to install those bees the right way so that you can get your bees off to a great start. All right, with my smoker lit, I'm ready just in case these girls are a little bit irritated, a little stressed out from being in the box all day. I don't know how long they've been in here, but I know that they came from nearby beekeeper, so they haven't been in here as long as a lot of packages are. My smoker is mostly lit because I've got an, an established colony here and they could get irritating. So I'm gonna go ahead and just smoke them anyways. And I'll puff a little bit of smoke around these girls One of the things that you probably, if you've looked into anything, uh, that you may have heard that you, is to spray the, the package bees with some sugar syrup from a spray bottle. And um, you can do that, but if you do it and they're too sticky, you're gonna have a hard time getting those bees out of the package. So I really, it's not a necessary thing. It's just like one of those things that some people like to do. I've never done it. But then again, I've never had a lot of packaged bees because I, norm I normally split from my own hives. And that was an example of the smoker going out. Sometimes it just happens, it happens to everybody. So first thing when you get your package home is you should set them down somewhere in the shade. You don't want them to be in direct sunlight. And you wanna keep them there until you're ready to start getting things ready. And what I'm gonna do is probably take out half of these frames just to give my bees and myself some room to shake in the empty part of this box. I'm gonna go ahead and space out these other frames where they need to be. Okay, those are spaced. Now I've got this empty cavity here uh, that I can shake the bees into. I'm gonna bring you closer so I can explain things to you and you'll see everything up close and the action of what's, what's gonna happen. All right, so basically what we have here is a three pound package of bees. Uh, it's screened on all two sides. The sides are solid, top and bottom are solid, and there's an H-frame inside. You can't tell very easily because all the bees are covering it up, but this H-frame is holding a can of syrup in there, probably high fructose corn syrup, but that's the best I can do. I wasn't in control of that part. But um, there's a, a lid stapled on top. That's something we're gonna remove with our hive tool. And this tag end is what you're supposed to grab when you're removing this stuff and hold on to because on the other end of this tag is the queen cage with a mated queen. All right, and as you can see, I've got my empty space here to start sh to shake these bees into they'll immediately start to walk under these frames and up into these frames. After all said and done, I'll put the, I'll fill this empty space with, uh, with the frames I took out, put the hive cover on top and give them a jar of feed. Because keep in mind a package, bee, or a package of bees, they come with nothing. They have no comb, they have to build everything from scratch. There's no brood. And so you've got to give them something and I prefer sugar syrup uh, by using hot tap water to dissolve that sugar, a one-to-one -one ratio in the spring. And again, that's one pound of sugar to one pound of water and feed them for the first couple of weeks at least because that sugar syrup is what's gonna be the fuel for them to build the, the comb that they need for the queen to start laying into and for a place for them to start putting pollen and nectar. So you see, I can take this off and the bees still aren't coming out. This is just really retaining this can. So the next move is going to be to, well, I don't have to hold on to this too much because it is stable in place. So the idea is eventually we'll want to grab this because we don't want the queen cage to fall down inside. But uh, for the moment, this is stapled in place. 
So all we have to do is tip this box enough for this can to come out a little bit so I can grab it and remove the can. Then I can take the queen cage, put her in place, and then start uh, shaking the bees out. Okay, so the best way to do this, to get the can out without having a lot of bees come out at the same time, is to bump them to where all the bees fall down. Because right now, they're all clustered and hanging on the underneath the top of this box. Alright, so they're down. Let's see if we can get a grip on this can. Alright, I got it. I'm going to turn this back up. I'm still holding the can. I've got this ready to slide right back over. They can't get out. A few bees are here. That's okay. What I'm going to do is just set this down somewhere. They'll eventually come home. And now I'm going to loosen this staple that's holding the queen cage. Ouch. Don't stab yourself with the hive tool. Okay. There we go. That staple is almost loose. All right, it's loose. I'm holding my queen cage by the tag end. What I'm going to do is remove this, pull her out, but I don't want a lot of bees coming out quite yet still, so I'm going to tap this box again because they've already climbed back up. All right, they're down. Here's the queen, covering them back up. And what you need to do is to make sure that the queen is alive. If she's not, you need to contact where you got these bees from and let them know immediately that your queen did not survive the trip. But mine did. And what you should see is pretty much this is a piece of wood with three holes drilled into it, all connecting. And it's difficult to see with the bee, these worker bees covering her up. But she's got attendance in there. And that was on purpose. So they're taking care of her. She's walking around really quickly back and forth trying to find a way out. Let's see if we can get an angle here where we can see her well. Not so much because there's so many other worker bees in there. That's okay. Let me continue to explain this. There's a cork on each end of this cage. One end of this cage you see is white. That's candy. And the idea is you want to keep this cork in place. You don't want to remove the cork from this end. But you do want to remove the cork from the candy end. Let's do that real quick. I brought my knife. You could use a hive tool, but probably a little more difficult. We're going to pop this cork. We may have to dig it out if it comes out in pieces. And the reason for this candy is, think of it as sort of a slow release. Okay, so I got that cork completely out. Now for the next three days, these bees and the attendants inside of here are going to start eating this candy. And when it's eaten through, that queen is going to naturally be released and she'll start uh, taking a walk about inside the hive here and hopefully within a few days start laying eggs. All right, so we're gonna lay here here, put my knife away. All right, so. Ideally, you'll have some kind of stapler that you can staple this tag end of the queen cage. What we're going to do is I'm going to push aside this frame just a little bit to give me room to put the queen cage down into. Now, these bees need to continue to feed her and tend to her while she's still in this cage. And the only way they can do that is through the screen. And the screen is only on one side of this cage, right? So they need to be able to access that. So when you put the queen cage down below, I recommend putting the screen facing back or forwards. And this tag should be long enough for you to put her down in there and kind of sandwich her between two frames. And your frames won't be spaced right. They'll be a little bit wide and that's okay because she's not going to be there long. Because after we're done with this, in three days, we're going to come back to make sure that she was released from that cage. And if she wasn't, we will have to do it ourselves. 
So I just stapled right here to another frame. She is secure, she's hanging there. The screen is facing that way and the bees can access her and continue to feed her. And there you see, there's our tag end going down, secured to the cage. There's the cork that we don't remove. There are the uh, worker bees tending to the queen. And the only step next is to shake the bees in. As always, thank you for watching. My newbies, my apprentices, don't forget to drop me one of these. Check the description and the links below for the tools and equipment and gear that I use. And don't forget to subscribe.